don't use LUTs. Don't bother with those because uh, effectively what's going to happen is uh, you should be doing it all yourself. You should be learning to color grade, etc., etc., etc. What's happening, guys? Dan Debenham here. In this video, we're going to look at something that's both controversial and I think personally an essential part of filmmaking, and that is how to install LUTs. Now, the reason I say it's controversial is because there are a lot of people out there who say, don't use LUTs, you should be learning to color grade yourself, etc., etc. You should uh, uh, be learning the craft uh, and doing everything manually and, and doing what you need to do uh, yourself and not just sticking a filter over the top effectively. So what is a LUT? Well, essentially that's what it is, it's a filter. It's essentially a template color grade that somebody has created. You, me, somebody else has created a template color grade that goes over the top of your footage and gives it a particular look. Now, LUTs, or lookup tables is what they're actually called, are, I think, an essential part of filmmaking for a couple of reasons. One, they're a good uh, baseline to start with um, for a look that you're particularly looking for. They can start you off in a place where you, uh, you are. Two, if you're shooting in log, you can stick a Rec. 709 LUT over the top of your footage and you get an instant grade back to uh, a general flat line of the image looks okay so everything's sort of flat on top of that uh, and he's back to a normal coloured image rather than that really really greyed out washed out flat uh, uh, log look that you get and two they also allow you to get a starting point on how to grade so using a lot you can then analyze what changes have been made inside that template to get that particular look and that will then allow you to uh, learn how to create your own LUTs, how to, cr how to grade your own footage in a particular way by following sort of almost like the tutorial of where all the slider bars are, where the exposure is, where the colours are, how much black, how much not, how much greys, how many, how many highlights have been put in, etc, etc, what sort of colours have been highlighted, be the reds or greens or blues or, or the purples or whatever. Um, it, it essentially allows you to uh, sort of get a visual look at how a look is done uh, from that particular look. And so it, it makes it much easier for you to start off at a place and then tweak on top or learn how to do it and then you can create your own or, or do everything manually. Um, so without further ado, let's dive into Premiere Pro and let's just have a look at how, how we quickly install LUTs into Premiere Pro. Okay, so in Premiere Pro, what we need to do is we need to select the color tab at the top of our menu system. So you've got your learning, assembly, edit, and then color. So you need the Lumetri, uh, the Lumetri uh, system open. So this is your color grading section of Adobe Premiere Pro. And then from there, we're going to go across to the right hand side. I'm going to click on creative. And that's going to bring up a small window with your scene in it i.e. what you're seeing in the main window um, and then across the top it says creative and then it's got a thing called look and you can click on look and you've got a couple of options you've got custom browse and then you've got a list of different things that you can apply uh, and these are all different looks that are installed into premiere pro now of course you can browse um, you can browse for a, 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 a look a particular one so you click on browse and then you just click to wherever your looks are saved um, and you can just go ahead click ok open and that will then apply that look to that particular clip or you can then just go through the ones that are already pre-installed like for instance let's pick a random one and we can just randomize that um, and we can just basically then adjust how we how much of that lot is in force so how much of it is in use um, from 200% all the way down to zero or 200 all the way down to zero um, 100 being uh, basically the standard full um, lot but how do we actually get those LUTs installed into Premiere Pro? Uh, so you might be using Rec. 709 LUTs, for instance, um, and you want to use these LUTs uh, all the time. Um, so you basically, you, you want those in there basically all the time, effectively, so that you can, um, you can install them immediately and you don't have to go finding them all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to just come out of Premiere Pro altogether and then we're going to go and navigate to where we want to save our lots to so uh, first things first we're going to go to main computer so that's your c drive basically then program files then you're going to go to adobe uh, then you're going to go to premiere pro and then you're going to go to 
Lemetri. You're going to find a file called Lemetri, and in that is a file called LUTs. You click on LUTs, and you'll get a couple of files in there. You probably got uh, Legacy, and you probably got uh, you may have Creative, uh, but if you haven't, you can create you can create the two files, Creative and Technical, um, and then you can put your LUTs into particular files. So, for instance, um, Creative LUTs. I've got a creative file and then technical LUTs such as uh, any Rec 709 LUTs which are technical uh, and are things that you apply to every piece of footage if you shot log um, basically that that is what I would do all the time so they're in a technical file although they appear appear in the same system on a, a, a Premiere Pro on the same drop down um, they're separated so if you do need to find them um, they're organized within Adobe Premiere as it is and then from there basically all we need to do is we just need to find the LUTs that we want to install so for instance say we wanted to install these LUTs you just grab them uh, right click copy them and then you go in and you just right click and paste and then you can restart Adobe Premiere Pro and effectively you've got the LUTs installed in Premiere Pro that's what you'll find when you go to that drop down box where it is creative you'll see the LUTs that are actually you've copied and pasted you'll see them pasted in there so there you have it, it's pretty simple to do, it's not a particularly difficult task in order to be able to uh, install those. You don't even need to install them, you can stick them on a file and then navigate to them, you can browse to them and import them manually each time if you want to. So if you've got thousands of LUTs and you want to set them all in folders, you know, this look, that look, the other look, you can do that and it will then, you can then just browse to that particular file and go from, from there. It's so, so simple to do, but I think it's an essential part of uh, making videos it's an essential part of colour grading uh, is to learn how to do it, how to make these looks in the first place, but also to to save time um, when you when you when you're editing. Um, you use these looks in order to be able to speed up the process, and it's all well and good saying it's amazing you do it all yourself. You shouldn't be using them, etc., etc., etc. But I would argue that quite a lot of these people have probably never been in a high deadline, uh, fast-paced editing environment where there isn't time for you to spend three days colour grading a particular scene you need to be able to just get it done get it out and move on to the next project because the client is waiting for it um, and you haven't you haven't literally got the time to be messing around so this is a good starting point and then you can add your a sort of creative finesse on top of that so with that hope you did find that useful it's very very quick I know um, uh, and I, I just thought it was a great thing to have a look at we just need to be a little bit more aware of all these things. This is sort of a really basic Premiere Pro thing. Um, but I hope it was useful for you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.